Hey guys, uh, it's me, Eric. Um, yeah, so, um, out here in my backyard, beautiful day. Huh, eh, not too hot. <laughs> Considering it is summer. Um, well, what can I say? Just barely getting into in scale after my big commotion with HO, which I still have a lot of. So, <laughs> um, basically, today I just have my Kato Unitrack set up on my patio table, running the train. <clears throat> um, Surprisingly enough, uh, on the way, in the mail, right about now, from UPS, I'll be getting here pretty soon, um, the Union Pacific, Southern Pacific Heritage, 19, 1996, I believe, yeah, but, um, yeah, so that is what's coming in the mail. And, um, right now, uh, my, uh, train club is closed, so, <sighs> yeah, so, uh, let me show you what I have been working on, and I had to stop, because, uh, we believe, uh, me and my mother believe it has stirred up my uh, valley fever digging in the dirt so let's head okay, on okay guys uh, basically what I've been trying to do was build up dirt to make a garden railway um, really what has happened was I began coughing again and uh, just had a lot of problems with the locomotive cutting out, which I believe was due to buildup of dirt on the tracks, not only on the tracks, but on the locomotive wheels as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah, so, um, that's it. Basically, lower loop, have trestle going over there, upper loop. And see the bottom there. What I was planning to do was to have it raise up and connect to the loop right here. But yeah, as you can tell, half the band here. Um, let's see if we can't get this. There we go. Um, basically, uh, the engine that I have right now is an an E8 locomotive, Rock Island 66, wait, no, 661, 661, yeah, basically my plans with that is to um, get the decals removed, super detail it, and uh, Turn into one of the Heritage E8s. Numbering and everything. Moving along. We have Union Pacific boxcar. Uh, received from my other grandparents up in Phoenix. Um, basically, Atlas. Uh, same with the Southern Pacific trailer flat, which I need to purchase on top of the locomotive. Uh, new trailers for that. Um, Rock Island boxcar and Southern Pacific caboose. You can see it. Anyway, that's basically it. 
Um, hoping club opens back up in September. Uh, I'll get a few um, running shots of that. And um, uh, that this locomotive on top of the uh, heritage unit, along with uh, I believe down there we just recently uh, received a donation from someone I forget who, but uh, donated a. Union Pacific City of Los Angeles set along with the units to haul it. Uh, I might do several run bys of that and show you a few how to's. Basically, the normal stuff, everything. Uh, Basically, yeah. like I was saying, and uh, hold on. Basically, like I was saying, I'm gonna do a few. Uh, run by shots, uh, yeah, run bys of uh, not only this locomotive but the heritage unit <laughs> with the city of Los Angeles. Um, consist, there we go. Um, hopefully, in the coming years, I can have a layout of my own. Uh, Maybe garden railway as well, but we'll see. We'll see what the specialist says about my um, if the Valley Fever is acting up again. I will get back to you guys on the Valley Fever thing, and I'll actually do I'll do a review on the Cato SD70 AC when that comes in. So, um, I live down here in Tucson, just so you guys know, not to be confused with me living, living in Surprise, where my other grandparents live, but, um, basically, I'll see you guys later, I hope you enjoy this video, and subscribe. Eric is out.